Hey, this is Rebel Builder, and we are looking at the Death Star Final Duel with 724 pieces. So this is a playset for the final duel between Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader on the Death Star at the end of Return of the Jedi. So there's lots of features to this set, and we'll start here in the front. You can see the two royal guards here, and then on either side you pull these apart and open up the doors. Here in the middle, the set does kind of slide together and pull apart for storage, I would assume, for carrying it around, but when you're playing with it, you want to have that extended. These two side pieces do turn in and out here, and they actually have hooks that they'll lock into here if you're going to store it and carry it around. So really the whole set is little homages to the little action sequences that happened during this battle. And here in front, there's a little lever here, and you can flip this to simulate it when Luke Skywalker jumps up on the platform. And he really just flips out of the way. There's no way he's actually gonna land where he's supposed to. There's a little lever here on the side of the stairs. If you flip this thing down, two of the stairs explode apart. So Luke is standing up on this railing here on this platform. You can see Darth Vader down below. And this is to simulate the scene when Vader throws his lightsaber at Luke Skywalker. And so if he does that, he actually knocks down this little lever here and Luke falls down. So these little deals, these are little pods or something that's in there, but those simulate when Luke is fighting Vader and he kind of jumps out and flips back up and lands in there for a second. So here the centerpiece of this whole thing is the Emperor's chair. And they did a great job with just some simple black slopes but I think they really kind of captured the iconic look of that thing. And here in the back, there's a little hidden lever. And if we flip this, out pops the Emperor's hidden lightsaber. And in the pot on the right, it's hard to tell, but there's a pit here, and you can see some stickers that they have lining the insides of those. But we've got these railings, and this is where Darth Vader grabs hold of the Emperor and throws him down there. And here's a shot around the back. You can see, even though that's the back of the playset, they did have some cool detail on the windows that would be the outside of the Death Star. So the minifigures are a big deal in this set, specifically Darth Vader and the redesign of his helmet. But on the left, you've got a Royal Guard, and the set comes with two of those. Darth Vader, obviously. And Luke Skywalker, I think they did a great job with the detail on his tunic there and his belt buckle. And, you know, this is a great minifigure to have because this is when Luke fully becomes a Jedi. And the Emperor on the right there. And here in the back, there's not a whole lot to see with all of the capes. But you can tell that Luke does have some great detailing on the back. Here's some variation on the minifigures. Here's Darth Vader without the helmet. And the big deal is you can see he still has the bottom half of that helmet around his chin. Luke also comes with some binder cuffs from when Vader first brings him to the Emperor. And then the Emperor has these pieces his hands hold onto to simulate the, the lightning force. Just wanted to do a quick zoom in on the Emperor. You can see his mean face and then his really mean face. So overall this is a great little set that captures a lot of iconic moments at the end of Return of the Jedi. It's got some great play features, a lot of moving parts and uh, little levers and you know things where you can act out those final scenes yourself. I am Rebel Builder. Thanks for watching my review of the Death Star Final Duel. I'd love it if you'd subscribe, like, leave me some comments, and I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching everybody.